Hi there. I'm here in Hampstead, in the graveyard at the rear of the Baptist Church, standing beside the grave of the Reverend Charles Whitfield, who was minister of this church for 50 years between 1771 and 1821. He died 200 years ago. And over the weekend that is closest to the anniversary of his death, the 16th to the 18th of July, the church are marking uh, this event with a series of activities. Who was Charles Whitfield? Well, according to David Neal in his History of the Baptists of the Northeast of England, he says that many would maintain justifiably that the most significant person in Baptist history in Northeast England was Charles Whitfield. Now, we don't often remember historical figures and spend much time looking back into the past. Maybe we should do it a bit more because the past can be inspirational for the present. We can learn lessons from the lives of the saints who've gone before us, who've passed on the baton of the gospel to us. It was Whitfield, under whose ministry here in Hampstead, that this building was built in 1774, our oldest Baptist premises, an historic building, which many regard as a, uh, a special place, a thin place, a place where it's easier to encounter God than maybe many other of our churches. A church building that has a sense of history, of faith being passed down the generations, of many prayers having prayed, having been prayed in this place. Whitfield was a pastor. He was an evangelist. Other churches were planted through his ministry. He travelled across the northeast. He was an itinerant preacher. He even got as far as places like Beedale in North Yorkshire and helped to plant a church there. He was responsible for the growth of the church here. In the first three years of his ministry in Hampstead, the church congregation doubled in size. Oh, that we would see that in our congregations today. He lived in a time of revival. In fact, he was converted through the ministry of the Wesleys in Newcastle and was in his late teens a protege of John Wesley, being schooled as a preacher and as a leader. But he studied theology, he read widely, and he became convinced of believers' baptism and eventually chose the Baptist expression of faith. But his life spanned times when there were huge numbers of people turning to faith across this country. The whole of society being transformed through the preaching and the living out of the gospel. Oh, that we would have that today in the 21st century, in the 2020s. As we read of and hear of Whitfield's example, may we be inspired to pray again with faith for God to do again in our nation, in our own lives a great work of his spirit that would lead many to faith, that would lead to new churches and new initiatives and new things to be planted across our region and across our nation. What about the future? Over the last hundred years, Hampstead has been through decline, like so many of our Baptist churches. There haven't been ministers serving here full-time for many, many years. Currently, the congregation numbers just four people. It's our smallest church. And these folk are all into retirement. Is there a future for such a place? Is there a future for such a church and for such a part of our region? Well, I believe, and many of us believe, yes. And a vision has been developed here and is growing here that Hampstead might become a house of prayer, a place of prayer, a place not just of prayer, but a place of of mission, a place where a community can be grown, who would live a rhythm of life and prayer and mission, that there would be daily prayer and worship in this place and mission flowing out of it. And this would be a place that, because it has a sense of the presence of God, where people would be drawn to encounter God and be transformed, people to come on retreat, people to come on pilgrimage, people to come for quiet days. Would you consider supporting this vision and this mission. Please pray with us that Hampstead 
which has seen revivals and growth and life and church planting and mission in the past will once again become a centre of life and growth and mission for the future. Fulfilling the legacy and continuing the legacy of great pioneers like Charles Whitfield. Let's pray together. O oh God, our help in ages past and our hope for years to come. We give you thanks for the legacy of great leaders such as Charles Whitfield, men and women of faith who have followed you wholeheartedly, who've lived the life of Christ as disciples, sharing faith, being witnesses, passing on the faith to others. Thank you that that faith is now passed to us. May we hold that legacy of faith well. Share it widely. Be bold in our mission. Be bold in sharing the life and the love of God with others. And here in Hampstead, where revivals have happened in the past, where people have come to faith and been baptised in their tens, in their hundreds over the, the decades, may you indeed continue this work and grow this work again and may this place see people being drawn to you, drawn to faith, drawn to a life of prayer and a life of mission, a life of seeking you, a life of serving you, a life of giving and may this community be blessed with a lively, vibrant, thriving Christian church and Christian presence and Christian witness and this region in County Durham. To the glory of your name we pray. Amen.